Notre Dame, engulfed in flames. Five years ago, the world watched in horror Paris's landmark burn. Today, the spire's been rebuilt exactly as it was. Carpenters and artisans are hammering away to meet the deadline. The cathedral is due to reopen in eight months, and life has resumed in the historical heart of the capital. Claude and his wife, Denise, spend their whole lives on the Ile de la Cité, an island in the River Seine, home to Notre Dame. On allait à la messe, uh... I grew up going to mass at Notre Dame. That's where I went to Sunday school. My first communion was there. So it's part of us. From the couple's balcony, the back of the cathedral graces their view. On the 15th of April 2019, they witnessed the blaze, helpless. It was a catastrophe. Over there, on the Pont d'Arcole, about 100 people gathered. They screamed when the spire fell. And minutes later, religious chants rose. My husband and I had tears in our eyes. It's very moving. We think about it a lot. In fact, it took me a very long time to be able to look at these photos because it sparked too strong an emotion for me. These are the most impressive photos because the spire was still there. That's right, it was right before it fell. Despite calls for evacuation, the retirees refused to leave their home. On that day, the wind miraculously blew from the east. If it hadn't blown from the east, our building, with its wooden frames, would have burned down. We were saved by the wind. Over the past five years, residents around Notre Dame have lived amidst the ongoing construction. The building site has changed their daily lives. Ah, bonjour, Mathieu. Bonjour, <laughs> Michel Mathieu has run this souvenir shop for half a century. We've noticed there are less tourists than before. My turnover has dropped by around 60% compared to 2018. It's not only a disaster for the cathedral, but also for the economy. It's heartbreaking for businesses and people too. Many have suffered from depression. Notre Dame's reopening on the 8th of December is expected to attract tourists and worshippers again. Before the fire broke out, around 2,000 religious celebrations were held every year. It's so sad to see it and not to be able to go inside. Isabelle Hugo wasn't particularly devout before moving to the neighborhood 10 years ago, but Notre Dame has deepened her faith. I couldn't not go there. It's as if a force dragged me to the church. For Isabel, Notre Dame's closure leaves a spiritual and human void, disrupting the community. It's really a terrible loss in our everyday life. This place was an exceptional place of meditation, of joy, serenity, love too, with those we met here. I met a lot of people at Notre Dame. The faithful of Notre Dame have had to develop new habits. Isabel now has to walk one kilometer and cross the River Seine to attend Mass. In the meantime, I go to the parish of saint germain lac sauroy which is very beautiful. It used to be the parish of our French kings. It's located near the Louvre. At least here, Isabel is reunited with an old friend of the cathedral, the Virgin of Paris, a stone sculpture from the early 14th century. 
This statue was at Notre Dame, on the altar next to the spire, which was destroyed in the fire and collapsed really close to this statue. It's a miracle it wasn't hit. She just has a few marks on the crown and on the right cheek. They look like tears. It's like a stigmata of what happened. Notre Dame's treasures should return home in eight months, much to the joy of locals and visitors. Until 2019, the cathedral was one of the most visited monuments in France, with roughly 13 million visitors a year. Today, the iconic Gothic cathedral remains popular, even if it's still close to the public. Uh, the fire broke out because, obviously, uh, there, there was, there's been renovations going on on the roof and around the, uh, the spire. So most probably there was an electric uh, shock or electric uh, failure. The fire was probably caused by human uh, action, but uh, not uh, on purpose. The incident made news headlines around the world. So it was also shocking for us, although we're not uh, living here, but um, it's very sad for the history of uh, European people, and of course in other parts of the world as well. And it's great to see the progress of the world. And for those who might feel let down, this Hungarian guide has a plan B. Yes, so it was a very... There are some less informed people who ask if they can go inside. Obviously they can't, they're a little disappointed, but it's okay. If they really insist on seeing a Gothic cathedral from the inside, I show them saint Severin right here, which is also stunning. Another must-see for tourists, the bouquiniste. They sell antique books from their open-air stalls dotted along the banks of the River Seine. We're in the same landscape as Notre Dame. We kind of belong here, just like the monuments of Paris. There are the bouquinistes and there's Notre Dame. We are tiny and Our Lady is remarkable. Yes, take your time. The weather's nice, as long as it doesn't rain. The booksellers nearly got relocated due to the upcoming Olympic Games. Local authorities had security concerns, but after six months of discussions, they were allowed to keep working here. During the Olympic Games, especially for the opening ceremony, they wanted to remove our stalls. We protested because we didn't want to. They've been there for hundreds of years. We didn't want to touch them because they're very fragile. And everyone supported us, the world over. For the Olympic Games, the facade should be cleared of its scaffolding, but renovations inside the cathedral will keep going. Meanwhile, another plan is in the pipeline. The square in front of Notre Dame and its surroundings will also get a makeover, sometime between 2025 and 2026. A large underground parking lot will be turned into a brand new space. Openings will be made so it becomes accessible from the river banks. Don't expect any shops inside, but 6,000 square meters of amenities. There will be reception areas, for example, educational spaces where we could host groups and school classes. There will also be sanitary spaces, etc. We want to focus on the reception of groups, tourists, pilgrims, and also the site of the archaeological crypt of Paris, which is just below the square and which is very important in the history of Paris. Tourists will also be able to take a stroll on the promenade on the Quai de l'Archevêché along the Seine, all the way to the back of Notre Dame, where the tip of the island offers a splendid view. Some 50,000 people called on the promenade to be rebuilt exactly as it was before the fire. But authorities want to open up spaces. 
We need to widen pedestrian areas, reduce traffic to the bare minimum. That is strictly for local traffic, service vehicles and emergency services. The goal is really to make this an area where there won't be many cars. We want to create a landscape continuity between Square Jean 23, which is at the back of Notre Dame, and Square de l'Île de France. Such projects further extend construction time, but Notre Dame has endured far more over the past nine centuries of history, and the old lady of Paris is still going strong. Thank you.